You've uh, joined me today on the uh, Lionbrook Syndicate in Essex. Uh, it's a small four and a half, five acre lake. Uh, it's got half decent stock in it, about 120 to 140 fish. Um, it's run by Paul Middleton, um, who does the weed cutting boat and also does the fish farming. Uh, it's a lovely little water, it's close to home for me. It's, it's about 20, 25 minutes, which is ideal. Um, since obviously setting up proper carp baits with John, not really had a great deal of time to fish. I don't get the time that I used to. Obviously before I set up the bait company with him, I was fishing full time, you know, five days a week, if not longer sometimes. Um, but th that, that's all come to a stop now, I don't get any time. In fact, this is my first proper session in three years. I managed to do a, an over, a, a day session back in January on here, uh, where I was fortunate to have a, one of the mid-30s. And, uh, and up until last night, I hadn't fished them since. Um, got over here early evening uh, yesterday. Uh, and obviously I knew that Dan was coming today to do the filming. Um, and being a bit rusty, I wanted to uh, come over here and not mess everything up and just get my hand in first. Um, I dropped in a swim next door, but one from here. Uh, it was quite clear the fish were out in front of us here. There was a guy in here last night, uh, but he was off early this morning. So when he left, I, uh, I dropped in behind him. I baited up the spot about three rod lengths off of the island out in front of me. A uh, little channel, about seven and a half feet deep out there. And um, yeah, I've got two mulberry pop-ups on. It's a two rod limit on here. I've got two 14 mil mulberry pop-ups on over a mix of the, of the black seal and the nut with some particle mix. Uh, and I'd literally just finished spotting when the first, uh, the left hand rod went with a, what shall I say, characteristic 21 pound mirror. Uh, it's not the prettiest fish, but it, you know, it's great to have a bite so soon after uh, getting the rod sorted. I, um, I got the rod back out this morning. There was a lot of fizzing, a lot of activity out there through the morning, obviously feeding on the bait. Uh, about half past one, we were having a cup of coffee and I said, right, I can have this coffee and I'm gonna redo the rods, get them sorted for this afternoon. Um, I actually went down to redo the left-hand rod and decided to leave it, um, picked up the right-hand rod instead, reeled that one in, and I was literally tying a new rig for that when the left-hand rod went and uh, had one of the lake's big ones. Seven twelve. Um, yeah, so that that was nice. It's been quite nice. It's been quite a good day so far. I think there's a good chance of another bite yet. Um, still been a bit, a bit of fizzing out of there, and the wind's turned a bit. It's blowing around here. It's been quite warm today. I mean, it was baking up quarter to two when the rod went. It was probably the hottest part of the day. So um, it's about it's twenty to eight now in the evening on this first night. Uh, I've I had another take at about four o'clock this afternoon. But, uh, on the same rod again, left hand rod, it kited left, but unfortunately the hook pulled about 20 yards out. So a bit gutted about that one. Um, there's a couple of fish been showing now, they've just started showing. There's just one just showed over on a spot that I baited last night actually. 
so I might, I'm going to probably move one of my rods, I'm going to move my right hand rod because I've not had any action on that. Uh, I'm leaving the left hand rod because all three bites have come on that left hand rod. And obviously I'll keep you updated to anything that happens, going to catch up with you in the morning, so I will speak to you then. It was all pretty quiet last night, um, no fish for me. I, I was getting liners from about 11 o'clock through to about half past one on both rods, but I've, I had a feeling that they were feeding more on an area on the left down rod. Uh, fish were showing, but um, it just didn't happen. I'm really surprised. I honestly thought I was going to have something. Uh, Mark, who was fishing a couple of swims down from me, uh, he had a couple last night. Uh, scrape of 30, just over 30 pound common and a mid 20 cracking linear, really nice fish. Uh, he, he uses our bait like quite a few of the guys on here um, and he had, he had both of those fish last night on mulberries. Uh, we've got, got, got a few hours, it's about 8 o'clock at the minute, Got going to stay till lunchtime. So I've redone the rods this morning, uh, the left hand rod came back fine. Uh, but the right hand rod, for some reason, it had been moved off the spot and was tangled. So it was where I'd put it out, it was, um, it was to the left of it. So either the line, well, where the fish were mooching around last night, I was getting the line as they might have knocked it, like dragged it across, or something's happened. They're both on multi rigs and um, they weren't pulled tight. So, but I've redone them. The coots were out there this morning, diving still on the back of the spot. <clears throat> so I know there's still a little bit of bait out there, so I'm not going to put anything more out this morning. Um, if I get a bite, then I might put a couple of spoms just to top it up. But I think there's enough bait out there just to get a bite, and obviously I'm fishing mulberries on both of them. So we'll see what happens. Um, hopefully, hopefully I'll have another one to show you, but you never know. nice just to be out and uh, using your own bait you know you produce the bait and you watch everybody else catching on it but to go out and use it again for yourself and catching on it it's, it's, it's nice it's, it's a personal goal on its own so yeah it's good well first proper session in three years like I said at the beginning uh, done a day session in January over here but other than that I've not fished for three years now so I've enjoyed it I'll be back that's for sure um, yeah, that's it, so watch out.